So I've already done these two questions before in a slightly slow, but really nice and set out way. Uh, now I want to do the chain rule, but really, really snappy. All right, so with questions that look like this, that's a function raised to a power, we can like come up with a faster method for coming up with the chain rule, kind of in a single line. Um, but you still need to know how to do that other stuff. All right, so the rule is going to be something like this. If y equals um, f of x, a function, so there's a function, um, raised to a power. Okay, so if you're seeing that, y is my thing. Now, uh, that's going to be equal to f of x raised to a power. Then my rule states that y dash is going to be equal to, uh, now you've got to be careful here, we've got to bring the n out the front, and then we've got to take the derivative of f of x, so that's going to be uh, n times f dash of x, and then we've got to keep our... Um, f of x to, that we started with, uh, and then we've got to raise f of x to the n minus uh, n minus one. All right, so y dash equals n times f dash of x times f of x to the power of n minus one. Uh, it looks like a big long formula there, uh, but it's pretty straightforward. I might just write it again. Y dash equals n times f dash of x times f of x to the power of n minus 1. Okay, so really quickly, how does that look? It looks like y dash is equal to n, bring the 20 out the front, times uh, the derivative of the thing in there, times 3, times the function itself, uh, in this case 3x plus 4, and the function itself raised to the power of n minus 1, 19, tidy that up a bit, 60, 3x plus 4 to the 19. Uh, you could watch the previous video, I'm pretty sure that's going to be the answer. Um, this one, so y dash equals, bring the power out the front, negative 2, multiply it by the derivative of that, uh, which is going to be 12x squared minus 5, multiply that by the function itself, and then decrease the power by 1. Uh, that's That looks like it's probably the answer. Alright, so that's uh, the chain rule, like the, the super fast way. Um, it's really important that you know how to do the, the previous stuff. You understand uh, the, the thing I showed you earlier. Uh, dy, dx, du, du. Uh, because when we start moving away from doing um, derivatives just with these fairly basic ideas, there are some other ones that aren't just going to have neat little rules. You're going to need some flexibility. But that's a really, really fast way to do the chain rule in questions that follow this form.